the information. Save it as evidence. Take the information to the police department. I'm here to tell you, like I said, technology can be your best friend, but also your worst enemy. There are things that, there are ways to track people. You know, I've even gotten a couple phone calls myself, and to be honest, I knew who they were coming from, but I didn't follow them. Calling my phone, laughing in the background, and you know what I told them? I said, you know what? I'm gonna take this number, I'm going to the police department. Don't call this number no more. Did I get any more calls? No. no. And so with cyberbullying, we have to also be careful because traditional bullying, we know who's in front of us. I know that you have let me know that it's something about me that you don't like. And your goal is to, de to destroy my confidence. Cyberbullying, as I mentioned to you all earlier, I could be acting like I'm your friend all day long. And after school, I'm with a click that takes some false identification that antagonizes you. So cyberbullying can also be a whole lot worse than traditional bullying because you never know who the person is, okay? So just some solutions for you all. Remember, don't do anything your parents would not want you doing. Do not put anything out there for the universe because you gotta remember, it's not just a state thing with your phone. It can become a what? Starts with a G. It can become a global thing. So somebody from another country could be actually looking at your nonsense. Remember, things go viral not because of one country, but because of the whole what? world. So we have to be careful about how we present ourselves, okay? And some things are just not meant for social media. Don't put your whole lives on social media. Just don't do it, yeah? Save some for you. Everything that goes on with you is not the world's business. And for some reason, now young people believe that. So if you take those measures, one, don't put everything that you're doing on your phone and share it so that the world or the state or the nation can get a hold of it. And two, if somebody's threatening you, don't erase the information. Use that information as evidence in the event that it never stops.